In this video, we find the maximum likelihood estimator for a Wishart distribution, specifically a central Wishart distribution. So let's let A be a positive definite matrix, P by P. Assume the sample size is greater than P, and P is also the number of variables. Um, and if you ever studied how the Wishart is, is derived, that would make more sense. Um, let's let A be distributed Wishart with n degrees of freedom and parameter sigma and it's a P by P matrix. So the density is this. And if we look at this density, the parameter is sigma. So sigma's here and sigma's in, in this term. So um, these four terms, one, two, three, four, can be all grouped together on the front and just called a constant. And then this uh, determinant of sigma raised to the n divided by two can be taken to the top so there becomes a negative out front and this stays the same. So when we take the log of it, the natural log of this, then we have the log of a constant which is this stuff here and then log of this, remember it's in the numerator, so the minus n over 2 comes out and it's the log of a determinant of sigma. Here we have, you know, the log, natural log and the e cancel and we're just left with what's in the numerator. Now, to take the derivative of this with the associated with sigma, I have some background videos I want to point out here. So, Background video one, I call the derivative of a determinant with respect to a matrix. And this is the answer. And, and but, but before I do that, I should note that I use what's called numerator notation. And you can see this video for very specifics. And we prove the result. And if you're not familiar with numerator notation or denominator notation, I think a good reference is the Wikipedia page on multivariate calculus. I think they do that well. But in so in this derivation, we use numerator notation. And it's unfortunate that there's more than one set of notations that are, you know, used equally often. So here's the, the result for the derivative of the determinant of x with respect to x, and x is a matrix. And then uh, background video two, I'm going to call it derivative of a trace with respect to a matrix. And here, in there, I drive these two results. In, and actually, in both of these videos, there's more than just these results. But these are the results we're going to use in this video. So the derivative of a trace of A times X with respect to the matrix X is just A. The derivative of the trace of A X inverse with respect to X is this, so it's minus x inverse a x inverse. So let's turn to the next page. So I rewrote the likelihood so when we take the derivative we can quickly reference it. And so I'm going to do it two ways. The first way I'm taking the derivative with respect to sigma. And it's, and it's often probably, you know, you'll see this done with taking the derivative with respect to sigma inverse because the derivatives end up being easier. But we'll do it both ways. So here we take the derivative with respect to sigma. This is a constant so it goes away. Here we get the n minus 2 out front and the derivative of a log of a number is 1 over that number times the derivative of this, which on the previous page we said was this, the derivative of sigma, sigma inverse. And here, it's actually the minus one half comes out front, but then the derivative of this trace ends up being a minus times, so that minus and minus become a plus, and then we're left with sigma inverse A, sigma inverse. We set it equal to zero and solve for sigma. So here we divide or multiply everything by 2 and this derivative and this derivative cancel. So we're left with this. This comes down, that comes down, 
and just this piece comes down. Now, if we right multiply it by sigma, you know, we get the identity here, so it goes away. The identity here, it goes away. And then this negative we take to the other side, and we get this. And we're left with just this. So we multiply, we left multiply everything by sigma, and it cancels here, and we're left with n times sigma, divide by sigma, or divide by n, I mean, and we get this. So the maximum likelihood estimator of sigma is a divided by n. And that's the answer. If we take it the derivative times sigma inverse, okay, but before I start, here's the likelihood. This minus can be taken here, and then it becomes a plus into uh, log of the derivative of sigma raised to minus 1. But that minus 1 can be taken in here, and then that ends up being the uh, sigma inverse. So both of these cases are sigma inverse. So when we take the derivative of this, we get n over 2 times a, the derivative of this log. So it be 1 over the derivative of sigma inverse. And then let's just look at it. So we get this. So it's 1 over the, you know, the derivative of sigma inverse. And then it's times that sigma inverse, and then it's the inverse of that sigma inverse, which is just sigma. And then the derivative of a trace, um, we just get a back. So it's minus one half times a. We set it to zero, and we multiply everything by two, and take this a to the other side. Sigmas cancel, and we're left with the n sigma divide by n boom sigma hat or the mle of sigma is a divided by n well that's all i have for today hopefully you enjoyed that i sure did please like the video and subscribe so you don't miss the next one thanks bye